In this video, we will discuss how to structure out your files and how we can set up the library, the playlist, and your presentations so that they're orderly and they're able to be easily accessed or changed. In ProPresenter, the way that we store our files or the way that we save our presentations is through the library, the playlist, and presentations. When I refer to a presentation, I'm going to be referring to this white symbol here. The reason I refer to them as presentations is that if I click the plus up here, I can add a new library, a new presentation, and a new playlist. Now, to get our heads around how this works, we need to think a little bit differently to the way that we're used to. So normally in PowerPoint, if we have an event or a church service coming up, we'd go into PowerPoint, we'd create church service, as our PowerPoint and we'd add all of the slides into our PowerPoint. So we'd end up with one file, which is a PowerPoint file, and we'd end up with lots of slides in that one file. In ProPresenter, things work a little bit differently. Instead of having one file with all of our slides in it, what we actually create is one playlist with lots of presentations and each presentation contains some slides. What this allows us to do is when we set up our playlist for our event, each of our slides can be set up into a different section. The easiest way to think about this is if we're thinking about church is to set up your slides into the individual sections of the run sheet or how your service runs. So let me give you an example. So if I had my playlist and I was going to make a playlist for church, I would go up the top here I'd add a new playlist, and I'm gonna call this playlist Sunday 9 a.m. I'm gonna use this playlist for my Sunday 9 a.m. service. Now, if I had multiple services throughout the day and they were all the same, I could leave it exactly the same and just have Sunday service. Or I could create a second playlist and call it something like Sunday 3 p.m. Even if it's exactly the same, it's pretty easy to set up a second service then if there's any changes made to that service or any tweaks that need to occur, we can do that on the fly pretty easily. So let's go to Sunday 9am. Here you'll see that there's no items in Sunday 9am yet because we've just created the playlist. Now remember, our playlist is like our PowerPoint file. We only need one playlist for our church service to keep things nice and simple, but everything for it is going to live in here. If I wanted to add something into here, I could go and create a new presentation and I might call it MC spot number one or MC spot one. Now I add a new one. Now you'll notice straight away what's happened. Let me delete that so we don't get confused. But you'll notice straight away, it's taken us straight to the default library. The reason it's done this is that whenever we create a new playlist or whenever we create a new section in ProPresenter, it automatically adds our new presentation into a library. The reason for this is the library is sort of like the files and folders of ProPresenter. ProPresenter does not save to your files and folders like you would expect it to if you're used to something like PowerPoint. We don't need to go and click Save As. In fact, if we go up here, file there is no save as we can export we can import but that's not going to save as pro presenter automatically saves as you go so any changes you make it will save as you go where does it save that it saves it into the library so there is a section in your computer if you go into your file explorer and you go and find the particular place where pro presenter is saving all of your things you can go in there and see all the individual files it's making as it goes However, in terms of thinking about how it saves our stuff, all of our presentations or individual sections get saved to a library. So straight away, it's put MC spot one into the default library by default. So if I go to Sunday 9 a.m., I still have nothing there. But what I can do is I can go and pull my MC spot one from my library and put it in my playlist. When you do that, it will still stay in your library, but it's linking it into the playlist. So I could go and pull the same MC spot one into my Sunday at 3 p.m. 
the note to make here in doing this is that if I'm in Sunday 3 p.m. and I make a change to this slide, so let's very quickly put some text on here. Welcome to church. Now our slide says welcome to church in our preview window. You'll notice in Sunday at 3 p.m. it says welcome to church where we change it, but it also says it in Sunday 9 a.m. Because what you're actually doing is you're editing the item named MC Spot 1, which lives in the library, but you've linked to it in Sunday 9 a.m. and Sunday 3 p.m. So whatever change gets made wherever MC Spot 1 is, that change applies to all of the locations of that particular presentation. So just a little bit, something to think about when we're thinking about how to structure out our process. Now, the other thing that I would encourage you to do is that if we're using it for church, and we might have a couple of services, but we're just going to try and keep things relatively simple for now, is to think about how you want to structure out your library. I would recommend for a start to add something like songs, and then we can put all of our songs into there. That way we know when we're going to look for some song lyrics, they're going to be in songs. So if I go into the sample content, we know that they've provided songs in here. Now, if you don't have the sample content that came with ProPresenter, that's perfectly okay. Go and check out our other video um, talking about the user interface and the layout. And at the start of that, it, it explains how to get the sample content. But we're going to go and we're going to move our songs. So Waymaker is a song. We're going to move it into songs. Good Grace. Another in the fire. And... Nothing else. I'm, well, I I'm took announcements by accident, so we'll move that back. I'm just dragging and dropping here. And we want another in the fire. Now, in terms of your other folders, it's just worth having a little bit of a think about the best way to structure it out. You can always change it later, so don't stress too much. But if we can get a good folder structure from the start, it's going to make our life a lot easier when we're building services. So I have all my songs, and you'll notice they're all in alphabetical order, which is nice. The other content in our sample, I have some presentation points. I'm going to, actually, I'm not, I'll leave that. I have some Bible verses. I've got some countdowns. And I have my song here still because I keep moving announcement by accident. So let's send him back. So what I might do here is I'm actually going to create a new library just to give you an example of what I might think about doing if I was in your shoes and I might make a whole library called announcements because that way I can go and move all of my announcements into there and then I can also we've got songs announcements what else are in here we've got sample presentation Bible verses countdown so I might create a new library called countdowns and I'm going to move my sample countdown into my countdowns library and I might create a last library here called message yeah let's just call it message so when I say message I mean the message that the pastor brings or like the sermon or something like that so I might create that, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and get that sample content for now, and I'm going to put it in the message section. And so the reason I've sort of put it out like this is because it's a lot easier for us to understand if we're coming to ProPresenter for church where things are. So you just want a nice logical structure. Because if I want to set up a service, and if we think about church or somewhere else where we have lots of people involved and there's lots of volunteers, we want to try and make it as simple as possible. So we know if we go into a Sunday service, I have MC Spot in here. Let's just get rid of that for now. And our MC Spot is currently li living in default. What I might actually do is I might set up another library called MC Spots. And so I can then move my MC Spot 1 into there. Now you could do it like this where you structure it out. Now, or if you have lots of services, you might want to create say something like a songs folder or songs library, sorry, where you can include all your songs, but your other libraries, instead of doing announcements, countdowns, messages, you might want to create something that says something like Sunday, 
9 a.m. And then you can put all of the little variations of your things into that library. So in there, you might end up with a couple of MC spots and a couple of um, message types and a couple of countdowns and different things like that. Or you can structure it out into the individual components. Or you can do it many other ways as well. So I'm just going to remove that just so we don't get confused throughout this video. Now, if you're not sure, I'm right clicking to get that menu up. So it's just a right click to rename or delete, a plus to add. Now, when I come down to structure out my service, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and let's just create a service where we've got our announcement. So I'm going to drag that into my Sunday at 9 a.m. Then I'm going to have a countdown clock. So, yeah, let's drag the countdown into Sunday at 9 a.m. Let's go to, we're going to have an MC spot after that. And then we are going to have, what have we got so far? We might throw in a song next. So you can start to see once things are set up, how fast it is to actually create the service. So we've got a song. Um, we might go back and in here, just for now, I'm going to duplicate this. And we're going to call this MC spot 2. I'm just going to change this. Now, I understand I'm moving very, very quickly, but this video is about your structure. So let's call this MC Spot 2 just so we know. And we're going to go and add the second MC Spot into our Sunday at 9 a.m. And then we might have our message slides. So using the samples provided. And then we might finish it off with another song. So we might sing nothing else at the end. So you'll see there, I've sort of made a whole service in a way using the elements that we have in our library already and just structured it out. Now it is a little bit messy still. And you can see here we've got our announcements, we've got our countdown, our MC spot, uh, we've got our song, we come down, here's our second MC spot. Oh, turns out we've got the same MC spot twice. So we're just going to go and fix that up. We're going to drag MC spot 2 into Sunday at 9 a.m. We're going to delete that. Now, that does not delete it up here. It only deletes it from that playlist. So it's more like removing it. We're going to put our MC spot there. So I'm just clicking and dragging it up to rearrange it. And now I'll have my song, MC spot 2, my message slides from the samples provided, and another song to wrap it up. And then I might, what I might want to do is let's just duplicate the announcements and we'll put them at the end as well. And that way we finish with these playing while everyone's leaving the building, which is cool. So there we've created a bit of a playlist. Now, the other thing I want to show you as well is how to make this nice and pretty and easy to understand. And what I mean by that is to add headings or headers. So if I go new header, it'll add a little title bar in here. And I can label that as announcements. Now what I would do is most churches have a general flow of their service. So you know that most weeks your service will have a general structure. So you might have, you know, um, two songs at the start, announcements, uh, someone might come up to talk about giving and prayer, then you might have another song, then you might have the message and another song and something at the end. Like you'll have your general flow. If you set up these headers for your general flow, it works really nicely. So I can just set them up and then move them. And instead of announcements, if you want to avoid confusion, you might call it pre-service. And then we might call this MC spot one and then we might go down and we might call we might put in here song one MC spot two message slash sermon, depending on what you guys call it, add in a couple more, 
We'll come down here after the message slash sermon. We're going to have song two. Now, if you have certain um, requirements for your song, you might put in here something like worship song. And this song up here, it might be a praise song all the time. Or depending on what your church does, just make your titles easy to understand for you and for everyone else. And down here for my other heading, I'm going to call this post service. So they're just the screens that show after the service. And so now we have all these titles, but they're still kind of hard to see and understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the color. So if I right click on this, I can then go and change the color. So you can color code them all the same. You can make them slightly different. Um, I don't even know what color I'm liking. Maybe blue. That looks all right. Bit of a dark cyan, apparently. And so we'll go down and we'll just change them all to the same. You could change them all differently if you wanted to. Up to you. Don't go too crazy. But it is a little bit nice to have things nice and orderly. And so there are all my colors changed. And now what you'll see is as we go through, each section has a nice big colored bar so you can see where we're up to. And it just breaks the screen up a little bit more for your volunteers running it as well. The beauty of this is that next week, if I need to swap out a song, so I might go, okay, this has happened on Sunday. Now next week, I know I need a new song. So I've got nothing else. I'm going to do another in the fire and all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that song so delete it because it's just deleting from the playlist not the library if I'm in songs in the library here and delete it it's gone out of pro presenter so delete it and then I can just drag another in the fire in its place and then here I've got another in the fire so I'm going to delete that and I can see straight away I've got two headings together so I need a praise song so if I go into songs I might go with Good Grace, Sunday 9am, and I'm just going to drag Good Grace straight up under Praise. So it can make it really, really nice and easy for you to do all of this stuff quickly once we have it all set up in our library. Now, this video is not about setting it up in your library and creating your content. There will be other videos for that, so make sure you go and watch them. If you want to know how to import songs or edit slides, they're going to be available too, so keep an eye out for them on YouTube. But this is just about setting up and structuring out your files to make them nice and easy. So just think about structuring them so that you can understand what's happening in your library and where things are saved. But also your volunteers at church can understand where to find things if needed. Because reality is, if you're the only person who knows how to do this or the only person who can find things, we have a big problem. Because the church doesn't need to rely on just one person. The church needs to spread that out over as many people as possible and get lots of people involved and just share that, um, share, care and share, let's call it. Um, so more people can be involved in church and so more people know how to do things in case something happens to the one or two people who usually do it. So just think about the structure here in your library. Think about how you want to structure your playlists and just be aware of all these presentations. So just remember, instead of one file and one presentation with lots of slides, we have one playlist with lots of presentations and each presentation has slides in its section. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again soon.